Hi, I'm Ellen Bradley, co-owner of Moto Yoga Greater Cincinnati, proud Manduka ambassador and teacher here at Bodhi Tree Yoga Resort in Nosara, Costa Rica. Roll out your mat and join me for this 20 minute energetic flow. Welcome yourself to drop your hips to your heels, tuck your chin, and we all begin in a child's pose. Knees can be united or knees can slide wide. Drop the hips to your heels, close your eyes. Ground your forehead center down to the mat. Begin to breathe into the back of the body. So with your eyes softly closed, in that third eye, forehead pressing down into the earth. Take a moment before we even begin movement to just think of one thought of gratitude. Something that your day has already brought that you feel incredibly grateful for. You notice how the act of gratitude, aligning to gratitude, softens us. It allows us to feel at ease. It creates more flow. So as we move and we breathe together today, let it be from that intention of gratitude. No matter the ways that are in life right now, know that there's always a reason to be grateful. Breathe in through the nose, expand. Breathe out through the nose and soften. So to really turn up the breath, spread the fingers wide and on your inhalation, take it right forward into your neutral tabletop position. Shoulders will stack atop your ribs, hips atop the knees. Find those cat cows, inhale, drop the belly, shift up, look up. Tuck the chin, dome the spine, and squeeze round. Inhale, expand, heart pulls forward, the eyes will rise. As you exhale, tuck the chin, dome through the back of the heart, squeeze. Navel hugs in. Two more, inhaling. So begin to really feel the breath lengthening. Extending in the body, energetically awakening. Exhale as you round, pull belly in and squeeze. On an in-breath, take it back to neutral. Invite your right leg to stretch long. Tap your toes to the earth for a beat. And just push back and forth energetically through your heel. And can you even begin to roll into the top of your foot, open the Achilles. Keep your leg long, toes can stay on the earth, or lift your right leg, left arm forward. Spark the fingers, spark the toes. Take an in-breath, reach out. Exhale, hug the center round. Inhale, spread wide, lengthening. Exhale, containment, squeeze. Two more, inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale, reach out really long. Spread fingers, spread toes. As you exhale, drop your left palm to earth. Kickstand your left leg off of the mat and inhale, right arm peels to sky. Shift your eyes beyond the right middle finger. Feel the chest high and look up. And gently from here, tap your right toes just behind you and just invite a freedom in the chest as the head and the neck fall back. Begin to freeform circle your right arm. One direction and the opposite direction. Feeling that you're oiling that shoulder joint. And breath here is the oil, the lubricant. And as you gently release, right palm returns, right knee returns, cat cow, inhale, drop belly, look up. Tuck the chin around the spine, see the navel center, exhale. Come back to neutral, invite your left leg long, toes tap the earth. Just give a nice little press back and forth through the heel. Notice any tightness. And the arch of your foot, your Achilles, as you roll onto the top of your foot, nourishing the ankle joint. Spread your left toes, lift your left leg, right arm peels forward. Deep breath in, length. Exhale, containment and strength. Spread wider, inhale. And exhale, draw in. Smooth and steady breath. Inhale, reach, reach. Open the eyes, shift perspective high. Exhale, come to your anchor center. One more, inhale, reach out. As you exhale, drop your right palm. Kickstand your right leg off of the mat and then swivel left arm high. Spread the fingers, shift your eyes high. And then gently tap your left toes behind you. And can you feel, you could support your head or drop the left arm back. Breathe up through the heart center and slowly freeform circle your left arm. 
big sweeping sensations. Imagine you're just nourishing the ball and socket of your shoulder joint. And gently as your release, left palm comes down, step your right leg back, take it right into high plank pose. Shoulders stack atop your wrists. Lengthen the heart forward, press your heels back, start to fire up through that belly center. So can you hug the navel towards spine? And in all the effort, can you soften your jaw, your eyes, and deepen the breath? Let the breath be the flow, the conduit of strength, of ease. Deep breath in. Downward facing dog, exhale. Free the body, bend your knee, and shift it out from side to side to side here. Allow the knees to bend. Maybe pause if it feels good on those outer hips, IT bands. And then inhale, rise all the way up onto your tippy tippy toes. As you exhale, sink your heels to the earth. Inhale, rise up onto tippy toes, shift out into high plank. Exhale, lower, modified as you need. Drop to knees, hug elbows, chest and chin to earth. Tops of your feet to go flat. Inhale, low cobra. See beyond the edge of your mat. As you exhale, take it through your knees to downward facing dog. Breathe in through the nose, maybe an exhale out of mouth. Look towards the top of the mat, step the right foot forward. Left meets right in a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, you'll fold. Take the arms out and up. Inhale, windmill the arms high. Reach the fingers up. On the exhalation, hands return at your compass, the heart center. Breathe in, ground into the feet. Exhale, soften the shoulder point. Inhale, take the arms high. Reach and extend. Open chest, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift on the in-breath. Big step back with your left leg. Keep your left heel lifted. On the in-breath, pull forward, bend deep into right knee. Exhale, tuck your chin, wave back. Inhale, wave forward. So just feel we're opening into the hips, hip flexors, exhale, tuck. Movement in breath, opening and awakening the muscles, the ligaments, the joints. On that next breath, pull forward, let your left knee come down to ground. Inhale, take the arms out and up. Spread and spark the fingertips, shift your perspective high. And then connect your hands at prayer, hug the biceps by the ears. Let it be a pillow of support. Can you lift your heart higher as you allow your hips to ground deeper? Take that next breath, slide your hands to heart center. Inhale, length. Exhale, rotation, left elbow outside of your right thigh. So left toes can stay curled under here, knee down, or for a little bit more heat and challenge, lift your left knee away from earth. Can you pull your belly up and away from that right thigh and then shift your eyes high? Ringing out the body, detoxifying, clearing the mind as we focus on breath and breathe. Steady with the eyes, one more cycle. Gently as you release, drop your palms down to earth, melt to left knee, pull the weight back, tuck the chin, soften head and neck. Walk the palms forward, curl left toes under, right leg high to sky, take a deep breath in. Exhale, pull the knee to the nose, round on the spine. Inhale, right leg high to sky. Exhale, pull right knee towards right tricep, can you hug it in? Right leg goes high to sky. Exhale, cross, right knee to left tricep. Right leg high to sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. So it's always your choice to stay right here or work through a vinyasa, modified or full. Wave out into high plank, inhale. Lower, knees, chest and chin are full plank. Upward dog, the heart rises, shoulders soften. Penetrate your heart higher. Exhale, see the belly slide back, downward facing dog. Close your eyes, realign and anchor back to home base in this down dog. Anchor back to breath. Look towards the top of the mat, yogi choice, step or maybe you lightly hop. Forward fold on the exhalation. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, you fold. Ground down, inhale, rise. Take the arms out and up. 
spread the fingers, gentle back bend, opening to all life is giving. Hands to heart center. Feel the breath, be reminded all is well. Inhale, rise, reach and extend. Exhale, forward fold, let your fingertips meet the earth. Inhale, take it halfway to lift on the exhalation. Big step back with your right leg now. As the right leg releases back, let your knee come down. Rise to your fingertips and then inhale, pull forward, open chest. Exhale, tuck your chin, draw back. Inhale, pull forward, heart opens. Exhale, tuck the chin, squeeze back. One more, as you inhale, come forward. Knee can melt down, take the arms high to sky, spread the fingers, soften shoulders. So feel this beautiful spaciousness in the rib cage. The spinal columns lengthening on the in-breath. And then it's with gravity that the hips release, soften. Connect your hands at prayer across your thumbs. Have the biceps by the ears, go the chest up. Take a deep breath in. Soften shoulders on the exhale. Deep inhale, hands pull the heart center. Find a lengthening inhalation, spaciousness. Exhale, rotation, right elbow outside of your left thigh. So feel the leverage, elbow presses into your thigh to pull the belly up and away from your thigh. The shoulders soften, the heart rotates open. Breath is a medicine here, cleansing the body, wringing out what we don't need. Yogi's choice to stay, your knee can be lifted here. Find your last cycle of breath, strength as you breathe, and then softly release. Drop your palms, melt to right knee, pull the weight back, tuck the chin, soften head, and soften the neck. Let your palms walk forward, curl the right toes under, sweep your left leg high to sky, fan the toes, take a deep inhale, pull the knee to the nose, squeeze and round. Left leg high to sky. Exhale, bring left knee towards your left tricep, release, squeeze in. Left leg high, inhale. Exhale, cross, left knee towards right tricep. Left leg high to sky on the inhalation. Exhale, downward dog, take it out into high plank. Pause in your high plank. Pour all the body weight into your right palm, left arm high. So we find side plank. If this feels a bit too much, stack your feet or come to what we began practice with. Shift your eyes and set your perspective high always. Let your eyes stretch beyond the fingertips and then lift up through the right hip. Find one more cycle, you've got it. Gently as you release, high plank pose, either choose to lower or press back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose here. On the exhalation, sigh it out. So digest the energy, the strength that we've just created. And we'll move to the other side. On your inhale, take it out into high plank. Squeeze your ankles, pour the body weight into your left palm, and peel the right arm to sky. So instead of sagging into left shoulder joint, can you lift up through your left hip, flex your feet back, and please take any support you need, maybe stepping right leg in front, or modifying as you come down to your left knee. Can you shift your eyes higher? And if you want that added challenge, maybe lift your right leg, or some of you even take your bind and find a freedom to lengthen and to lift and look high. Gently as you release, it's high plank pose and it's yogi's choice through a vinyasa or back to downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose, Sigh out of your mouth. Look towards the top of the mat, lightly hop or walk. Feet come wide, hip width distance apart. And we sink right down into a squat pose. Press your elbows into your thighs, lift your heart to sky. So allowing the hips to release as the heart rises. Some of us, it's a perfect place to stay and just digest it. Place of calm, nourishing, 
digestive tract, the reproductive system in this posture. You some may want to work into an arm balance, spread your fingers wide, crow pose. As your palms come down, draw the knees atop your tricep muscles, arms are a 90 degree angle, eyes come forward. Trust in your body, pull the navel up and in, dome the back of the heart, maybe it's one foot or both feet rise. And it's always yogi choice to step back, to float back, or to simply land in a forward fold. Grab for opposite elbows, sway your body from side to side to side. Root down to inhale, rise, take the arms out and up, spread the fingers. On the exhalation, hands to heart center and reground. Pour your body weight into your right foot and lift your left leg, find your tree pose. Feel the ankle, calf, or above the knee to the inner thigh. And as our hands come to heart center, soften the shoulders, lift high through the chest. And just like this beautiful bamboo just behind me, just imagine that notion of rooting, grounding down. But as we grow, we're always open to sway, to be flexible and change. Spread the fingers. Ground down to rise up. And softly as we release, take your hands to heart center, carry your left leg forward, flex it in front of you for a beat. Spread the toes, pull the navel in, and then root down into your left foot and rise up through the right leg. Tree pose. So find heel to ankle, calf, or above your knee to your inner thigh. Hands come to heart center, soften the shoulder. Lift high in the chest. Maybe challenge yourself. Spread the fingers and look up or even close your eyes for a beat. Know that when we have our roots, we can always grow. When we have our roots and we're thrown out of comfort zone, we can still thrive and not just survive. Breathe in, breathe out. Hands to heart center. Carry your right leg forward. Can you reach it out? Spread the toes. And then feel both your feet anchor you. Inhale, take the arms up, spread wide. Celebrate this day. Forward fold on the exhalation, fingertips to earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Ground your palms, step or jump back through your vinyasa. Elbows in, heart high on the in-breath. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Pivot your right foot in, step your left leg forward. Warrior one, inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, open wide, warrior two. Inhale, flip palms, reverse the warrior. And then exhale, ground it all the way to earth. Ground your palms, inhale, left leg high to sky. Exhale, down dog, stay or clear your slate with your flow. Realign to breath, breathe in. Sigh it out, exhale, breathe out. Pivot your left foot, 45 degree angle, step your right leg forward. Warrior one, root down to inhale, rise, spread the fingers, soften shoulders. Exhale, open into warrior two. Inhale, flip palms, reach back, reverse warrior. Exhale, take it all the way through, land your palms, step back, down dog, right leg goes high. Maybe right leg stays lifted as you flow. Upward facing dog, open heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out of the mouth. Gently drop to your knees, let your knees slide wide. Child's pose, soften heart down, tuck your chin. Slowly, gently shift your body weight to one side as you rise up. Find your sitting bones. We'll come right into boat pose to make our transition to back. Lift your chest high, spread the fingers, open the heart. If this is too much for your low back, you can guide your palms behind you. You can let your toes tap down. Lift and extend open. Take your time to lower all the way, all the way down to the earth. Softening, breathing, smiling. 
And then letting it all go, spread open wide. Melt the shoulders and you've arrived in your Shavasana. You've arrived in a moment to soak up all the energy that you've created. To soak up spaciousness. Close your eyes. Maybe this is just a tiny break from your day. Rest in the awareness of breath flowing in through the nose, creating space, nourishing you on a multitude of levels. Breathing out through the nose to release, to surrender, and to be in the loving awareness of life right now. Know that life is happening for us. Stay connected to the here and now as you breathe in and you breathe out. Stay connected to truly the unrepeated miracle of every breath you get to pull into your body. Illuminating yourself from the inside out with each cycle of breath. The brightest light living within me honors and bows to each and every one of you around the world. And thank you for carving out this time to collectively unite in breath and loving awareness for life. Namaste.